everyone out there, this is NHRA 1975. It's October the 12th, and uh, just continuing on with the, uh, the Grand Am here. And uh, this is the new GoPro in action, so hopefully it looks a lot better than the old digital camera. Uh, so I'm kind of using this as an excuse to try this new camera at the same time, maybe give some people some So I did get this uh, rear bearing out here. And uh, it's a fight, but it is possible. You can win this battle. What happens here is uh, this corrosion starts to accumulate along this surface here and this in here. And uh, I, that's primarily the reason why it sticks. But the real nice thing about the rear ones is you can come in through the back side. So what I did, he had this big old thread piece of rod and tried to center the force to cock it out this way um, and at first I, I didn't think I could do it I thought maybe maybe it was mission impossible and that I'd have to take this whole rig and bring bring it to a shop but no kept at it and some well placed shots there and uh, it did come out so that's great so hopefully the other side is not so bad either uh, one thing I'm gonna do too is what you do is you put some an anti seize along the, uh, these contact surfaces to pre prevent it from happening again. Um, that's that's for sure something you want to do. I mean, the, the reality is, though, uh, I doubt very much these are going to get replaced anytime, uh, anytime in this car's life. But at least, uh, at least it'll be done properly. So clean it up with a wire brush as well. And uh, there you go. That's that's all you got to worry about. And uh, four simple bolts four simple bolts and uh, that's how they all go on. Look at under this thing, I mean, uh, as I keep saying in the case of the rest of these bolts, as you can tell, it, she's got the rest of these. So, I think basically what's going to happen here is the rest of the car is going to fall apart and the, uh, all the mechanical stuff that's been put on her will, uh, will stay on. Um, and uh, I guess as well, oh, uh, one of my uh, YouTube buddies there, Olds Mob uh, 455, real good guy. I mentioned about um, what I could do for that power steering line. Is just you simply cut it and then you put a, a six-point uh, socket over it, and uh, that gives you more leverage and everything. So that's an idea for down there. So, anyways, just keep dipping away and uh, hopefully again. I mean, the, the rear bearing. This is going to happen in the rust belt. You're going to get this kind of crap happening. So hopefully. Uh, I'd help someone. Nice uh, tool too. These little, these these hammers. They have some weight on them, so the club hammer. You can get some force. And again, yeah, you can come through the backside. The front ones just suck even more because you can't do that. You can't go through the backside. You gotta have a massive puller, and uh, they're tougher. So keep dipping away here, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, just keep uh, going. All right. I'll